Hi, my name is Cheryl, and I am part of the YMCA Group Fitness online team. So today, we are going to do a high-intensity workout with weights and cardio. This is for all levels. Um, you can use any size weights, and when we do a high intensity, when we're jumping, you can just be stepping. I'm gonna give you modifications for everything. So let's get started and let me show you what you need. So you need a little variety of weights. I'm using a couple of five pounders. I have some, some dumbbells and I have some kettlebells. So if you have kettlebells, bring the kettlebells out, okay? So I just have a variety from five to 15 pounds and we're just gonna work with, with this. I will let you know what level, what, what weight to use, so that way, if I, to, if I tell you to use a heavy weight, you can pick up a heavier weight or a light weight, depending on what exercise we're gonna do. Everything will be set up for 30 seconds. It'll be 30 second intervals, 30 seconds with weights, and then we'll do some cardio. Okay, so let's get started with our warm up. We're gonna warm up for a couple minutes, those feet are right below those hips, we're gonna roll those shoulders back, that chest is lifted. And we're just gonna bring those arms, big arms. Bring them around, there you go. Oh, big arms, and the other direction. Okay. This is gonna be a 30 minute workout, okay? And we're gonna do everything. You're gonna get, build strength, and get that heart rate up. Okay, two more circles, and last one. Now we're just gonna step it out. Just a little step. If you wanna play some music, some rocking music in the background, you can. We're gonna just step this out. Now, I'm gonna bring a foot up, adding that foot lift. There you go. Arms are included. Now remember, everything I do, you can do a little bit slower, a little bit easier by just doing a tap but I'm trying to get that heart rate up just a little bit, warming us up. There you go. Now, arms are gonna come up a little higher and knees are coming up. There you go. We're getting that heart rate up. Now, I want you to just give me a little kick out. Kick it out, kick it out. Now, add those arms. Little kick, now, you can stay right here with just this little kick because we're just getting this heart rate up or you can add a little jump with that kick. Woo! Keeping those arms lifted. Now, let's try side and side and side and side. Warming it up. Woo! Little kick. Remember, this could be a tap and tap and tap. It's your choice. Now, we're gonna make it a little run. Now, you can have it a nice slow run like this, or I want you to make it a little faster run. There you go. Now, start bringing those knees up a little higher. Bring them up a little higher. Get that heart rate up. There you go. Add those arms. We're working it. We're almost ready. Before we get started on our real workout, whew, we're gonna pick up a light weight right here. Just a light weight, just to kind of get those muscles, those arms ready. I'm gonna hold this weight by each end and I'm gonna wrap it around my head. This is called a halo. So it's just a halo bringing that weight around and then a twist. This way I'm warming up my arms, my core, my shoulders, and it's a twist. All the way behind that head. I just have a light weight with this. I'm not trying to work that muscle, I'm just trying to warm it up. Oh, there you go, and twist. And even if you do this without a weight, you can do that also. Bring it around. Now, I wanna do both sides two more times. All the way around. All the way, now one more. Bring it around. And last one, and finish it off. Okay, we are getting ready to start now. So I want you to pick up a medium weight because we're just starting. I'm gonna set my 30 second timer and I'm gonna pick up a kettlebell, it's just a medium weight. And I'm gonna hold my kettlebell or your weight. I'm holding it by the horns and I'm gonna curl and I'm gonna press. So those of you who have a kettlebell, 
we're gonna curl and press here. There you go, curl it up, press it up. Now, this is just our first set for 30 minutes, there you go. Well, not this one. Now we're gonna bring it up, tricep overhead extension. I'm gonna split those feet and that bell's gonna come behind that head. Those elbows are in, that chest is lifted. I'm gonna lower that weight behind that head and press it up and down and press. Keeping that core nice and tight and good form. Working those triceps, bringing that bell or that weight behind that head, all the way behind, press it up and press. Now, we're gonna stay right here and we're gonna pulse it. So keep that weight behind that head. I know it's tough, okay? Keep it behind that head. Those elbows are in, that chest is lifted and we're gonna pulse it behind that head. Little pulses, it's only for 30 seconds and you're halfway done. And pulse it, keep it going, right behind that head. And pulse, woo, you got this. We're almost there. Okay, five more seconds. Oh, and last one, and I'm gonna bring it over. I'm gonna set that weight down. Now, I'm gonna jump the log. Now, you can jump nice and easy, or I want you to jump a little higher, okay? Or a little faster. Now, this is our 30 seconds of cardio. You can do what you want to do. So you can modify anything. If you would rather just step it up and just step, then you can do that. But I'm going to do this jump this log. There you go. Jump that log. Now we're going to do it again. If you have a heavier weight, pick up a heavier weight. We're going to repeat everything. And it's a curl with a press. The second set, if you can ever pick up a heavier weight, if you have them, then I want you to increase your weight. There you go, because you know what's going to happen, and you know what we're going to do, and you know what we can handle. There you go. Nice curl with that press. Okay. Now, keep it up there. Overhead. Split those feet. Little split stance. Elbows are in. Tricep overhead extension. That weight comes behind that head. Press it up. There you go. And press. Woo! Keep it lifted. Come all the way behind that head. 10 seconds left. But remember, we're staying with these triceps for 30 more seconds. Now, bell comes behind that head and we're gonna pulse it. Keep that weight behind that head. Don't let, don't stop. It's only 30 seconds. Keep it behind that head and pulse. Little pulse. I'm gonna turn so you can see me. I have my split stance. That chest is lifted, that core is tight, and that bell is just pulsing behind that head. I'm working those triceps. Okay, don't stop. Five seconds left. Finish off strong here. This is our last set of these. Last one, woo, and bring it up. Now, here's your cardio. I'm gonna jump my log. Okay, remember, you can go slow. You can go faster. Add those arms. There you go. I'm gonna go a little faster with my log jump. Mine is a little log. <laughs> Keep it going. Getting that heart rate up. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up a medium to heavy weight. I'm using my kettlebell, I'm gonna turn it upside down. Step back with one leg. I'm gonna do two pulses with a lunge and then a wide squat pulse. Two pulses, two pulses. Now, if you can stay deep, I want you to stay deep with this lunge and, and squat, okay? Stay deep and wide. There you go. Now, two pulses, and then a knee's gonna lift. Stay in the lunge, two pulses, knee comes up. That chest is lifted, we're keeping that balance. Now we're gonna work on balance and core as we put all that weight on one leg. There you go. And lift. Two pulses. Lift that leg. Two pulses. And lift. And lift. Now, lift that leg. Hamstring is parallel to that floor and extend that foot. It's just a little extension. I'm gonna turn so you can see me. Hamstring's parallel and extend. Keep it lifted here. Don't let it come down. Keep
keep that balance. All that weight's on one leg. Keep everything nice and tight. Hold that weight right there at chest level. Keep it. Oh, we're almost there. Last one. Now I'm going to set that weight down. Same leg, I'm going to do a repeat or knee. You can stay right here for low impact. High impact. Bring those arms up over that head. Return them down to that hip. This is 30 seconds cardio. Working that leg, that core, getting that heart rate up. And lift that leg. Woo. Oh, we're almost there. Last one. Now, pick up that weight. Other side. Come back into that lunge. Big step back. Two pulses. And then we've got our squat. And two pulses. And squat. And two pulses. Those hips are down and back on that squat. Not leaning forward. Coming down deep. Engaging those glutes. Those legs. Now we're going to come back into that lunge. Right here, two pulses and a knee. Two pulses and a knee. Here we go. And a knee. Oh, come down a little deeper. You got it. We've got 10 more seconds here. And pulse. And knee. Now, we're going to stay here on this side. That knee comes up, leg is lifted, hamstring parallel to the floor. Extend that foot out. Keep that balance. Core tight, chest lifted, bell at that chest level or the weight. Extend that foot out. Extend. Extend. Keep that balance. You got this. Oh, extend. Now, I'm going to set that weight down. Repeat our knee with this leg. Low impact. Or bring those arms up to those hips for high impact. And crunch. And feel it. And crunch. Woo. Add a little jump if you want. Really high impact. Oh, and jump. I think we're warmed up. Woo. Last one. Now, pick up a heavier weight, if you have one, because we're going to do that all again. Lunge back with that first leg, two pulses, wide squat. I'm holding that weight, chest level. Now, I'm going to try and stay deep. See how low I'm staying in that lunge and that squat? Stay down here. Engage that squat. We're going to stay in that lunge. And two pulses, knee comes up. Two pulses, Woo. two pulses. Bring that leg up, two pulses, and up. There you go. And lift. Now, stay here with that leg lifted. Leg comes up, hamstring parallel to the floor. Extend that foot out. There you go. Extend. Keep that bell or that weight right chest level. Keep that balance. Extend. This is the last one on this side. Our last 30 seconds with this leg extension. Make it all the way to the end without falling. Keep your focus. Extend, Woo. set that bell down. Now we have that repeater knee. Low impact, high impact, or higher impact. Jump and jump. And this is okay. Remember, your goal is to get your heart rate up for these 30 seconds. So if you need that jump, add the jump. Okay, pick back up that weight, step back the other leg, lunge back, big lunge, two pulse, stay low, and lunge, see how low I'm staying, stay as low as me, 
If we're not leaning forward, there you go. That leg comes back, big lunge back. Now, last one, lunge back. Two pulses and a knee. Two pulses, knee. Knee. There you go. Two pulses. Knee. Okay. Now, we're going to stay with this leg lifted right here and extend that foot. Find a place that you can focus on so you can keep your balance. Weight stays chest level. Extend that foot out. Keep it lifted. Don't let it come down to the, to the floor. Extend. Feel it in that quad and all that weight's on the other leg. There you go. Whew. I'm shaking a little bit here. Sometimes it gets difficult, huh? Keep that balance. Set that weight down. 30 seconds of cardio. Low impact and high impact. Arms come up over the head and crunch. Bring them to those hips. Those hands are together so that way you're feeling it in your core and those obliques. And crunch, crunch. Yes, excellent. Now, this is a time you can grab a drink. Grab a drink of water. Make sure you're ready to move on, okay? Now, I'm gonna pick my medium bell, okay? My medium bell, and I'm gonna step back in that lunge again. I'm gonna do a curl, it's called a gunslinger. I'm gonna come down into that lunge, and I'm gonna curl, okay? So it's just a curl, 30 seconds. With this curl, the bottom of the bell faces, the, faces you. If you have a, a hand weight, we're just doing a bicep curl with one side, the side that you're lunge back. Now, this hand is just on my hip, and I'm curling it up. It's just a curl, it's called a gunslinger with that kettlebell. And gunsling it up. It's a gunsling. Woo! Now, I'm gonna stay in this lunge. I'm gonna bring that bell right to the shoulder and I'm gonna come in the lunge and press. So now I'm gonna lunge and a press. I'm always trying to work <laughs> that lower body with that upper body. Lunge, press and press, press. There you go. Press it up. And press. Now, I'm gonna change sides. I'm gonna switch sides. I'm gonna lunge back on the other side. Bell comes in the other hand, come down in the lunge, and curl. So now I have that gunslinger on the other side. I'm working that bicep on the other side and curl it up. That chest is lifted, bottom of that bell is facing you, and curl it up. With the hand weight, you're just curling up that hand, that bell, that hand weight, there you go. I'm gonna curl it over, come down on my lunge, press, come down. It's just a shoulder press, one side. Come down in that lunge. So remember, I'm adding this lunge with that press. Press it up. And press. Oh, we're almost there. Five last, last five seconds. Press it up. I'm gonna set that bell down and I'm gonna jump my rope. I got 30 seconds of rope jump. There you go. It's my imaginary rope because I'm much better with the imaginary version. If you wanna read, if you wanna do this video again, you can use the real jump rope if you want. But I don't know if I can do that here with my ceiling fan. Okay, got my jump rope. Now, you can do fancy jump rope. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. Now, lunge back with that foot, and I'm gonna curl. If you can pick up a heavier weight this time, do a heavier weight. This is my gunslinger. Curl it up. 
and it's a curl, bottom of that bell, faces that mirror, faces you, sorry, I'm used to the mirror. Now, staying on this side, roll that bell over, hold it at the shoulder, come deep in that lunge, anchor press. Lunge press, working your shoulder and your legs, oh, and press it up. There you go. And press. We are going to switch sides right there. Lunge back with the other side. Other leg comes back. Deep into that lunge and curl. Bicep curl. Curl it up. There you go. And curl. Keep that elbow nice and close so you're not swinging. Control that bell. Now, here we go. I'm going to roll it over. Start that shoulder. Come deep in that lunge and press. And press it up. Press. You look amazing. You're doing an amazing job. Yes, keep going. Oh, we're almost on the last one. Last one. There you go. I'm going to set it down. Now is our jump rope. 30 seconds. Jump rope. Yes, make it fancy. Or you could just step your jump rope and just walk it. Two feet. Now, I want you to pick up the heaviest weight you've got. The heaviest weight you have. If it's a kettlebell, if it's a hand weight, whatever you have, that's the heaviest weight. I'm going to hold my kettlebell and I'm going to come down to a deadlift. My back is flat. Then I'm going to bring it up to an upright row. My back is flat, upright row. Now I'm going to feel that. Oh, like squeeze that when you're coming up in those glutes and bring it up. There you go. Let's do 30 more seconds here because I feel like we started that a little late. And this is something we could do for another 30 seconds. Yes. Bring it up. Oh, we got that deadlift. Elbows come up. Yes. Oh. Last one. We're going to go to a kettlebell swing. If you have the dumbbell, you can do that also. But you're using your glutes and you're just going to pop it up. So if you have the kettlebell, you're just popping the weight up shoulder height. Squeezing your glutes. Do not use your lower back. It's a kettlebell swing where you're popping up the weight shoulder height. If you don't have the, the dumbbell, you're just using your weight, but you're using those glutes to pop it up. There you go. Now, last one. Woo! I'm going to set that down and I'm going to jack it out. Now, you can do tap outs, okay? Tap outs, or you can do jacks. Those knees are slightly bent. There you go, jack it out. Woo! We are so close to being done. We got another set of those deadlifts. Get that cardio in. And last one. Now, pick up the heaviest weight you've got. We got that deadlift. Bring it down. Back is flat. Elbows come up. Upright row. And upright row. Make sure that back is flat. Oh. There you go. Last one, here you go. Now, kettlebell swing. If you got the kettlebell, you're popping it up. Shoulder height. If you don't have the kettlebell, you're still squeezing those glutes, popping that weight up, shoulder height. We're not using our lower back. Pop it up. Oh. 
Oh, there you go. And pop. Ooh, now set that weight down. Now we're going to those jacks. Jacks, jack. Now it can be a tap out because this is gonna be our last 30 seconds of cardio. Last 30 seconds, we're gonna finish up with core and our cool down. Yes, can you believe it? We have made it through the whole 30 minute workout already. You guys did so awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna come down on the floor. Oh, I'm gonna take a lightweight with me, okay? Lightweight with me. And I'm gonna come down flat on the floor. I'm gonna hold my, belt, my weight or my bell right there at chest level and I'm gonna press it up. So we're working on a press, it's a narrow press because I'm holding this weight on both hands and I'm gonna press it up. My back is flat, my feet are flat on the floor. I'm gonna press that weight up, straight up. There you go. Now, I'm gonna set that weight right between my hips and I'm gonna bring my hips up, squeeze my glutes, bring it down. This is a hip raise, bringing those hips up nice and high and squeeze. Bring them down, bring them up and squeeze. Oh, yes. Squeeze those glutes, bring them all the way up and all the way down, there you go, squeeze. Now, bring them all the way up and we're gonna do a little pulse here. It's just a little pulse, keeping those hips raised up nice and high. Squeeze those glutes up there, squeeze it. You got it, keep it up there. Squeeze and pulse, pulse. It's almost done. Keep it lifted. Now bring those hips down. I'm gonna take that weight. You can drop that weight if you want or you can hold it. I'm gonna crunch it up and then I'm gonna bring it up over my head and extend. It's gonna be a crunch with an extension and a crunch. Extend those legs and those arms out. You can do this with or without the weight. And if you can't or keep those head and shoulders up off the floor, you can just crunch up and just do a crunch. And then extend. I'm gonna set the weight to the side and I'm gonna roll over into a hover plank. Into a hover plank and I'm gonna hold this hover plank. Now, your back is flat, your core is tight. You have a choice, you can stay here. Or I want you to come up on your hands, come down on those elbows, and up on those hands. Keeping that back flat, that core is so tight, and down. Now, we're gonna go back to where we started. Picking up that weight. If you want a little heavier weight, you can. Come back on your back, hold that weight chest, and press it up. And press, it's just a narrow press. Press that weight up. This is our last one, last 30 seconds. Now, set that weight between those hips and lift those hips up in the air. Squeezing those glutes, bring it down. Lift those hips up, squeeze, and down. Squeezing those glutes as I raise those hips up into the air. There you go, and squeeze. Now, remember, we're staying with this hip raise for another 30 seconds. Bring those hips all the way up and pulse it, little pulse. Now, I still have this weight right here between my hips, but you can take it off and just sit it on the floor if you want. But keep those hips raised and pulse, pulse. Squeeze those glutes. Yes, you got it. Oh, we're almost there. This is our last one of these. Last 30 seconds. Okay, now hips come down. I'm gonna keep this weight and I'm gonna crunch in and then bring it up over my head and extend. Working my core option without the weight and then another option is to just do a crunch and crunch it in, extend. 
Now make it look beautiful. Point those toes. Extend those legs out. Oh, there you go. I think it's a beautiful move. Over that head. Now, set that weight to the side. We're coming over into that plank. You can stay right here on the hover plank. You can stay right here or come up on those hands, back down on those elbows. Now, whichever one you're choosing, make sure your back is flat, your core is tight, and you're staying with it. Oh, bring it up. Bring it back down. And up. This is our last exercise. Woo! And bring it down. Those knees come down and we're gonna come into our child's pose. We are gonna stretch it out. So I want everybody to come down in their child's pose. Give me a nice stretch. Take one hand and loop it under that arm and stretch out that shoulder. Change sides, bring the other arm under. Come back to that child's pose. Come up on those hands and knees. Step one foot out. Come down on those elbows. Stretch that leg out. Sorry, that timer's still on. Reach for that ankle if you can. And then back on those hands and knees. The other leg's gonna come out. We're gonna come down on those elbows. Reach for that ankle if you can. Back on those elbows, up on those hands. We are gonna press it up and slowly come up on our feet. Okay. Now, bring that arm up. We're just gonna give ourselves a nice little stretch here to cool it down. The other side. Bring the arm across, stretch out the shoulder once more, and the other one. Hands come front, and then wide, open chest. Bring it behind, look up, step out. Finish off with a nice big stretch up, and last one. And you did it an amazing job. An amazing job. Thank you so much for joining us at the YMCA. And you all stay safe and have a wonderful day. My name is Cheryl and come back and see me.